What's going on YouTube? Dave back again, AKA Senpai. And this isn't a hobby video. As a lot of you know, I took a couple weeks off and I decided to remodel my kitchen. I did pretty much everything other than tear out all the cabinets and everything and uh, went from there. And I, I've been seeing this company advertised on Facebook, Instagram, other places. And I decided I wanted to kind of delve in and try out some Japanese kitchen knives. I checked reviews on them. Everybody gave rave reviews. So I decided to give them a shot. Now the company's name is Kamikoto and their big thing is, you know, years of history of knife making and swordsmith and, and tradition and pride and everything else. They have a, they have a motto of, they have a base price and their base price or retail price is substantial. Um, the set that I ended up getting, which is for four knives and a sharpening stone, was $329. Now I did end up finding a code, uh, it's called uh, Monday. Uh, they call it a Black Friday sale, something like that, which I don't know why they're having a Black Friday sale now. It's only what, October. I ended up using it and uh, that gave me $50 off my order. Now this company is smart because once you end up making a purchase, they just bombard your email with uh, advertisements of this and that. And you know, it, it looked good. You know me, I, I love quality stuff from Japan. Now, that being said, then I end up finding out uh, through a Reddit forum that the knives are made out of uh, Japanese steel. That advertisement is right, uh, and, but it's made in China and it's made in a prefecture that is known for uh, quality knife making and things like that. So I, I had high hope. Uh, I placed my order and with it, like as soon as I placed the order, I got advertisement for, they have a, I think it's a sashimi knife slash meat knife, um, 13 inches, limited edition. And it was 80% off of retail, which I think was 300 and something by itself. So that made it like a little over a hundred dollars, like $102, something like that. Um, actually I think it was $99. So I went, okay, you know me, okay. Uh, so I ended up making another purchase. Uh, everything shipped out by UPS out, uh, from back East. Uh, I think Kentucky, I think is where they, it came from. And, uh, everything was fine. Traveled here. Uh, I got home, found the packages on my doorstep and went, what the hell? Um, I took pictures of the packaging. I sent it with a, not a nasty letter, but a letter to the company going, you know, you say you take pride in your craftsmanship and everything else. Whoever is doing your packaging and distributing should be fired because these boxes look like they were shot out of a cannon. Uh, I'm concerned about any uh, like packaging in there because there literally sounds like they're bouncing around in these boxes. So I decided I was going to do a straight unboxing. Uh, I'll show you, you know, the knives and everything, but I wanted to do an uncut unboxing to that way I can also send this to the company and let them know how these were sent out. Hopefully everything inside is in good condition. Knowing how they package their, the knives themselves, I'm pretty sure unless it was ran over by a truck, they'll be safe. But yeah, I'm gonna show you uh, initial quality, my thoughts and impressions, and then go from there. Like I said, I know it's not a hobby hobby thing, but I try and keep everything real. If I get something really shitty from a company or really bad packaging, I, I believe if you're gonna be selling, don't get me wrong, I spent $500 total on five knives and a sharpening stone. Even after the discounts and everything, it was still 300, 400 plus whatever. Yeah, so it, it was it was a small chunk to put out but I wanted some kitchen, uh, some, uh, you know, good quality knives. Now, a channel I end up following is Perfection. And I think I'm gonna, uh, when I have the money, I'm gonna order some actual traditional kitchen knives made in Japan and do comparison and everything. Um, and those you're looking at like, you're looking at like $300 for a knife. So we'll end up seeing. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump down the table and we're gonna take a look at this packaging. Don't go anywhere. So the first package up for scrutiny is going to be this guy. And I'm going to assume that this is the 13 inch uh, knife that's in here because I, I know that it's a 
pretty big box, but like now these boxes actually, and you'll see with the other one, I don't know if these shipped from an Amazon warehouse or they're just using Amazon boxes, but the other one actually looked like a used Amazon box. Like it was something they received Amazon package in and they just reused the pa package. Like, I don't know what the deal is. This is literally how it came. This end all crushed in, all open. Um, the knife is in here, or well, at least the case is. So, I mean, we'll see from there, but let's get this open and take a look. The other end actually looks looks fine. It's just this end. Uh, the tape, it, it's just not even, it doesn't even look like it was actually attached to this side. There's no like tape residue or anything on here. It's just very weird. So cutting open the package. Oh, I'll cut open the side that you guys can see over here. And like I said, I'm going to do this unedited so that you guys can see basically live how it is. So I can already see that there is a bunch of open space in here. Um, that's it. Like one sheet of brown paper. And here it is. The... the plastic which i've seen other people unboxing these and usually the the plastic is like over it and like tape shut this is like halfway off of the box uh the box is all dinged up hopefully the the wood case is in good shape so let's get that piece of crap box out of here this is seriously making me want just to return the whole order um so wood box, yeah, get out of here. Wood box, nice, uh, nice and you know, sanded, great detail. And let's see, it looks like good hinges that are on here. These are a uh, tongue and groove, tongue and groove boxes. So I mean, the boxes are well made. At least, at least there's a plus to that. Um, I believe these are more made for you know long term. Uh, carry and handle of these i don't know if i keep these i don't know that i'm going to put them in a knife rack plus this one i don't think i want to because it's just going to be freaking huge the blade's supposed to be 13 inches long so we're going to click that open nice heavy duty latch on here and let's see looks like we have a certificate of authenticity uh, we hereby certify that this blade has been handcrafted from high quality steel from Honshu, Japan, following Kamikoto's uncompromised 19 step process. Paying tribute to the centuries old tradition of Japanese knife making, this blade has been formed using traditional techniques handed down through generations of craftsmen. To ensure this blade meets our rigorous quality standards, this nice knife has been individually inspected by one of Kamiko's master knife smiths before leaving our workshop. And there's a signature on there. Uh, I can't tell if it's real or not. Like, I, I can't tell. I don't feel an impression like it's ink pen, but I don't know. But well, if each of these come with it, we'll, we'll compare. Uh, you get a knife guide, I'm assuming. Uh, how to care for your knife. Cleaning and storage. Now, these are not like your normal stainless steel kitchen knives. Uh, these are supposed to be high carbon steel which makes them very durable as far as keeping a sharp edge but you have to keep them clean and oil them every once in a while to keep them from uh, tarnishing and or uh, getting rust so here it is in the uh, case and ooh, yeah it's sharp <laughs> uh, so the blade is actually sticking out of this part it's actually not seated in there it's kind of loose in the foam uh, i already see some fingerprints that are on here as far as the handle i believe that this is a buffalo but i am not for sure what the handle is it it could just be uh fabricated uh, but i do like the pattern that's in there but i think they use buffalo for their handles this thing is freaking massive like it's huge now, I believe most of these knives are traditional, like one sided, one bevel. So one side is completely flat and then the other side has your bevel on there. Uh, looking at it. 
Backside looks nice. Doesn't have rounded edges. Uh, I am seeing machining though, and it looks like it's weird. I'm seeing like very light machining as far as lines and they're all uniform in this section, but here it's a little bit heavier, but here I can literally feel it with my fingertips. Like it's pretty significant here on the tip. Uh, if I can get it to focus. Come on, manual focus. Don't let me down. There we go. So you can see on this section, it's light and I can lightly feel it. But down on this section right here, you can see the machining and it's not, I, I don't want to say that it's a machine like on a wheel. It looks machined. Like, I don't know. I know it's not supposed to have that. Uh, it's nowhere else on here. Everything else is well buffed and polished. It's just down on the butt end down here. And out on the tip. But it does look good. Uh... It looks like it's a little bent. Let's get this out of the way. Zoom out. Trick I learned from Perfection: how to check if your knife blade is, is straight. And he does give a great uh, tutorial on how to uh, straighten your blades. So you just hold it down on a flat surface. So this is actually flat. Yep, you can you can tell right there. So there's a bin somewhere here in the middle, which is about two millimeters. So there's about a two millimeter bin somewhere here in the middle. Uh, for for as much as this is, there should not be any bend. Like it should be perfectly straight. So. That's why I am doing this video is so that I can show live. Well, as live as you guys are going to see it, how this is like, this is really tight. Like it's not really tight enough to hold that blade. Um, it holds it well, but I don't know. That's really tight. Um, so I'm curious. I have a feeling that these are mass printed. Just, just a feeling. All right, let's get this out of the way and the certificate out of the way and let's get this other box up here. So this is why I'm wondering either it ships from an Amazon warehouse or they're re reusing Amazon boxes. Like now keep in mind, this actually shipped three days ago. So it's not like it traveled around the, around the freaking world uh, with UPS and you know how durable that this tape is from uh, from Amazon like it doesn't just tear uh, There's a hole in the side of the box right here And you can literally hear everything rolling around in there um, This end of the box is completely crushed I don't know if this came open and uh, UPS put tape over it though so usually they use a special tape um, or this is how it was sent out. This literally looks like a used Amazon box that was sent out to me. Um, I am not happy about this. For as much as these were, if these were $20 knives, okay. Like I'd let it slide a little bit. Look, it even looks like a corner of the box is missing right here. If, like I said, if this was like a $20 knife, okay. I'd let it slide a little bit, but these are several hundred dollars. And for a company that's supposed to take pride in their thing, you would think that whoever they have distributing would take pride in packaging. Uh, all right. Well, you see it. Like, like these have 
This has a little air in here. This has little air. This has no air. This has air. Like... Uh, I'm truly disgusted right now. Like, truly disgusted. Uh, so I believe this is the whetstone. This should be the three-piece set. And this is going to be the... Uh, single knife. So let's get this piece of crap box out of here. And we will open this. So this is the seven inch uh, Santoku, which I think means three virtues, if I remember right. So there's a tear in here, but that's, uh, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, that's from the, the latch. So here's the box again, really nice finish on the wood and everything really great, uh, great hinges. These are meant to store the knives again, nicely polished buckle latch on the front. Uh, I didn't show before, but it does say Kamikoto their branding is all over the place. So you get another knife care, you get another certificate. Let's compare it to the first one. Well, evidently the same person ended up doing this, but I will say it's offset. So maybe it is actually signed and not uh, like they're not in the same place and it's a little different. So maybe, maybe these are actually signed. We'll see what the other set. Ugh, that, that is in there tight. Got a thumbprint or something right there. Uh, machine looks good though. It's a little rough right there on that tip. Uh, again with that machine, uh, but it's just very light on this one. Yeah, these are sharp. These are super sharp. Finishing is nice. So I believe that this is meant as an all around, basically like a chef's knife. Um, from what I've seen, these should be more balanced, like to the tip, to the blade. And these are so back heavy, like so back heavy. The handle is nice and comfortable though. And I'm not sure what the handles are, but nice and nice and comfortable. It is comfortable, but yeah, that the majority of the weight is right here. So it wants to tilt that knife back. So there is the Sendoku. Again, I am not a professional knife person. I'm barely a professional anything. All right, this other package is going to be the Kamikoto Kanpeki knife set. Sliding off the white. So again, gorgeous box. As far as this packaging, this is like what it's about. Lifting this up. Another certificate. Let's compare. So yeah, all three of them are a little bit different. So those are actually signed like props to them for that. Now, I'm not sure what this is doing in here because this is for the sharpening stone. But we'll put that there. So let's see here. We have a petty knife. Basically, you're pairing all around knife uh, general. Again, really back heavy. Machining on here looks really nice. Hardly anything. It looks straight. Yeah, no wiggle wobble on there. Very nice. So, so far with these, I'm very happy with them. All right, so this is your vegetable knife. A little smear right there. This is your vegetable knife. I do like that it has that curvature on the end for, you know, your rocking. Very similar to like a, a Chinese uh, style 
uh, vegetable knife. Uh, and all of these are, except for the petty, I think the, no, even the petty is a single edged. So they're flat on one side. So they're made for when you're cutting, basically sliding against your knuckle with your fingers curled in so that you don't end up cutting them, of course, but so that you can, you know, do work. Uh, machining seems good on this one. Yep, no wobble on that one. This one, I believe, is your general meat knife. Uh, let's see here. This one... Like the machining, everything is good. Everything is on here seems good, uh, except for we do have we do have rough uh, machining on the tip of this one. It always seems to be on the tip, but that is really really disappointing. It probably doesn't affect it at all, but and I can always sand these down. Like and and if I keep these, I probably will. I will probably polish up the blades. But there is that. And we got one last thing to look at here. So getting that out of the way. And I'm pulling the white sleeves off of everything. All right, the packaging for this is freaking awesome. Now, they have this listed at $210. Um, I know good Japanese whetstones are expensive. They can be very expensive, so. And uh, I'm not sure why the, like, is this a knife care? So maybe this was supposed to be in here, but I'm, I'm curious why the sharpening whetstone one was in the knife box. But we get those. Well, let's take a look at what the whetstone one actually says. Use care, sharpening whetstones. It's just kind of giving you uh, how to how to use it. Uh, so we'll pull this out. You've got nice, I believe this is rice paper. Maybe bamboo paper. Very, very nice. So you get a 3,000 and 1,000. Look good quality, as far as I know. Like I said, I'm not a knife person, so. And you get a bamboo block to hold the whetstone. Now I do have another set of whetstones downstairs that were cheaper off of uh, Amazon. And I will be doing a video on those because I want to show you guys how to uh, sharpen your hobby knives, things like that, and just general kitchen knives. And that starts from a low grit to a high grit. But yeah, so there is that. Um, I would expect that to actually be a little bit tighter in there. It's a little bit loose, but, um, so that way you're not having any play while you're working on it. It is what it is. So we have the whetstone, the three piece set, the Sengoku, Sentoku. I keep saying Sengoku. I'm for some reason I, I pictured the Gundam in my head. And we have the big knife. Altogether, uh, about $450. Um, this one I'm not sure about because it has that bend in there. Yes, I can end up fixing that fairly easily. It is what it is. We'll see what they end up saying. Uh, I just wanted to do an honest, because no one does any unboxings on these. And you don't see anybody doing any actual unboxings on these. Like, And if this is how they end up coming, I now understand why. Like. They go through the, the package opening, um, but that's about it. This is just my honest first impressions and uh, opinions on these. Like I said, I am not a knife person. Uh, I'm, I love cooking and doing things like that. I want a good set of quality knives. We will end up testing these out. Uh, I will send them a link to this video. I already sent them pictures of the packaging and I literally told them whoever package does your packaging and distribution should be fired because that is pathetic. They sh nothing should end up coming that way, especially each one of these weighs. I think one package was listed at 12 pounds uh, with the whetstone and the two knives and everything. So you've got 12 pounds just rolling around in there. 
while Amazon's doing, or while uh, UPS is doing their thing. I keep saying, I want you to say Amazon because they came in Amazon boxes. I don't know. I think I saw these on Amazon, but these didn't ship from Amazon. They shipped from uh, a warehouse in uh, back east, I think, Kentucky, Louisville or something like that. I don't know. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video and this was helpful to you, hit the like button. If you didn't like this video and you never want to see crap like this again, hit the dislike button. Um, but if you do enjoy seeing things like this and you just want to see general stuff like this, leave a comment down below and I will be more than happy. Usually I don't post things like this unless it's just horrid. Um, and in this case it is, at least for me. I, I think with as much money as I ended up spending, the shipping pa shipping sh packaging should be better. I I've gotten $20 stuff from other shops before, even eBay, and it was packaged better. I don't know. I will see you guys all in the next one as usual. Peace.